Hello, beautiful friends. I hope everyone is doing great. Happy Saturday. How are you guys? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Molly. I am the Happy Soul Coach. I am an intuitive tarot card reader, psychic medium. I read mostly for the Twin Flame Collective. Today, I'm going to be doing a messages from your twin reading. So this is going to be um, what's coming through for, for you from your twin uh, in November, okay? Um, and again, if, if the twin flame thing doesn't resonate with you, you can apply this to any sort of situation, soulmate, um, or somebody that you're interested in, okay? Uh, if you guys want to book a personal reading, all of the information is below. You can book directly on my website. And that's all the announcements I have for today. So let's go ahead and get started. So I just want to call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, 5D and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know. We want to channel what our twin flames are feeling, what they're thinking. Um, we'll get some direct messages from them. So let's just find out what the overall energy is that's coming in for November for our collective. the overall energy spirit and I apologize you guys might hear my dishwasher in the background <laughs> it's kind of loud Ooh, the just okay guys the just oh my god holy freaking crap okay justice card came out with the eight of cups okay so guess what this means this means walking away from a karmic partner that is the center of the energy here okay I feel like for a lot of you, your, your divine masculine or divine feminine is in a karmic relationship right now. This energy is an energy of walking away, ending that karmic relationship. Their spirit is saying it's time, it's time, it's time. For a lot of you, this has been a long time coming, okay? Uh, this is going to be a time of big, they're saying big transformation. Um, yeah, they're saying balancing the scales, right? Just like on the justice card, balancing of the scales that have been tipping in a different favor before, right? Like tipping towards this karmic partner. Um, but this is the energy of that your divine masculine, divine feminine is going to walk away, okay? Let's get one more card for the overall energy, please. I want one more. This is wild. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I mean, I might be psychic, but sometimes I don't know what's gonna come out. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, the emperor, holy crap. So again, this is a very, very, very strong uh, divine masculine energy coming through here. For some of you, again, um, justice represents Libra, the emperor represents Aries. So for some of you, that might be a significant message coming through. But this is the time when the divine masculine is awakening. He's realizing that this relationship is not serving him. He is starting to, vi okay, so they're showing me that he's visualizing, he's dreaming about his divine feminine. Look at this, look at him right i feel like he's like out looking like looking across the way where's where's my girl you know where's my girl because this one wasn't it okay um how is he feeling towards the divine feminine and guys i'm saying he or she please uh you can use that um intertwined it doesn't really matter uh it's not gender specific okay i just know a lot of you who watch my channel are the divine feminine How is he feeling towards the divine feminine? Oh, the queen of pentacles, beautiful. The hierophant, oh my gosh, gorgeous. These, these cards are just, they're, it's so positive, I love it. So again, how is he feeling towards you? The hierophant, that is, again, look at this. And I love this deck because the hierophant in this, he's laughing. There's like this beautiful light at the top of the staircase. It's like moving towards the light. He's moving towards you, moving towards the light. He definitely wants a commitment. Okay, the Hierophant is a commitment. The Hierophant is also a teacher, right? So I feel like this whole situation has taught both of you so many lessons, and he wants you to know that, that he has learned his lesson, okay? Queen of Pentacles. I apologize. My phone was not on vibrate. Queen of Pentacles. This is so beautiful. The Queen of Pentacles to me is like, the earth, like the mother earth, right? The, the, um, she's very grounded. So he's seeing you as this possibly for some of you, a potential mothering figure. If he has children or if you want to have children with this person, he's seeing you as that he is seeing you as very grounded. He's seeing you as this very natural beauty. Okay. This very natural beauty, just really standing in your power, 
but also being grounded. Like, that's not a queen of swords energy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, y'all? Okay, and then we've got the four of pentacles. So, again, I do feel like he, he has been, he's ready to let, okay, so he's been holding back, right? He's been holding back of telling you his true feelings. He's ready to let that go. He's been holding on to this, right? He's ready to let it go. He's ready to come forward. He's ready to communicate with you. Um, I do see communication is going to come in for a lot of you in the next four weeks. Okay. I'm seeing that this is happening all currently. This is not like this is going to happen in five months. Like this is happening now. Okay. So what advice do we have for the divine feminine from the divine masculine? And then I'm going to just pull, um, sorry, this is a quick reading today. I have a really busy day today, but I wanted to come on the channel and give you guys these messages because spirit was tugging at me. Like, girl, you need to get on that channel. All right. The Empress. Look at this. We have the Emperor and the Empress in this reading. How beautiful. So this right here is saying embrace your divine energy, right? Stay in that goddess mode. Stay in your, your feminine energy, right? Because it's, it's attracting you, attracting him to you, okay? That feminine pull beautiful the six of pentacles i love this um so again i feel like you know there's a lot of what he's saying is make sure you're staying your feminine energy but you're also balanced right you're giving and receiving um that make sure that you're giving enough to yourself giving enough to others but also receiving enough from yourself and from others does that make sense so it's all about balance right now but staying in this beautiful feminine goddess energy is what's going to make this happen sooner and then I've got the King of Wands. You guys, this is such a beautiful reading. Holy crap. I'm sorry, Knight of, Knight of Wands. Okay, sorry. So Knight of Wands to me. So he's also saying don't make any impulsive decisions, right? Like you may watch this reading and you may feel like you want to reach out to him, okay? Because you're like, oh, he's, he's breaking up with the karmic. This is going on. Don't, okay? So don't make any impulsive decisions. Allow this person, your divine masculine, to come towards you because he is going to reach out, Okay. This is, this is also advice from him in any other areas of your life, not to make any impulsive decisions, okay? And let's say maybe you have a karmic situation going on. This is him saying it's time to end that, okay? Because that's a lower vibrational energy. All right, last card from the tarot deck. Just I just want one card, and I'm going to read into what the energy is of it, and then we're going to pull some messages from your twin. <laughs> the tower. <laughs> I can't even make this shit up, guys. The very final card in the reading is the tower, right? And that's exactly what's going on with the situation up here. And remember, the tower has to come down for this to reach this beautiful light. All right, let's get some messages from your twin. This is my deck, a message from your twin. It's available in my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box. Okay, what does your twin want to tell you? No one compares to you. Wow, is that not the energy here of him breaking up with the karmic? And I am always with you. So even if you feel like, you know, you haven't felt their presence, especially their physical presence, right? Just know that they are always with you. They're always connected to you on the fifth dimension. They are always thinking about you. You know, that's just how it works. That's just how it works. And I never meant to hurt you. Okay, so this situation caused you a lot of pain, right? If that's resonating with you guys, leave me a comment below. Um, again, he's he's feeling really sorry and he's pondering about this that he's what he's done, right? And he's been wanting to come forward and tell tell you the four of pentacles. And he is going to. For some of you in the next four weeks, I'm seeing this is happening really, really soon. Yeah, I am working hard on myself. Please be patient. So what's interesting about this, please be patient is this Knight of Wands that came out saying, be patient, don't make any hasty decisions, right? Don't feel like you need to move towards him, he is going to move towards you, okay? The more that you're in your feminine energy and the more you're in that um, allowing the space for him to come in, that's when he's gonna come in. All right, I'm gonna pull one final card for the reading and this is from <laughs> my Romance Angels deck, Express Your Love, okay? so. This is, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, but this is him saying he is going to express his love to you, okay? If you, I know a lot of you are seeing this reading right now and you're like, I just want to reach out and I get it, right? Maybe write your twin a letter, okay? I'm seeing like a lot of you just writing a letter, writing your feelings down, 
and just burn it okay burn it let it go he is gonna come forward to you okay you guys don't need to reach out but I know how that feeling is sometimes when you just feel compelled right so my suggestion and spirit suggestion to you is to go ahead and write a letter about how you feel and then burn it it's like you're just releasing that energy of wanting to reach out okay but still being able to allow your feelings down on paper all right, guys, I'm sending you so much love. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're like a big family here. If you liked this video, if it resonated with you, hit that like button, leave me a comment below. And again, if you guys want to book a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.